Nagaland joined the rest of the nation in celebrating International Women's Day jointly organized by Nagaland State Commission for Women, Nagaland State Social Welfare Board and State Resource Center for Women under the theme Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World at Hotel Vivor in Kohima today. On the occasion, five women achievers received Nagaland State Commission for Women Award 2021 which included President Naga Mothers Association Abiu Meru, Chief Medical Officer of Kohima Dr. Vezokholu Theo, President of Nagaland College Principals Association and Principal Jafu Christian College Kigwema Dr. Visak Honu, Pastor S. Anungla of Chang Baptist Church Kohima and Inspector Rose Yanthan, Officer in Charge of Women's Cell Police Station in Dimapur. Speaking on the occasion, as guest of honor, Chief Secretary of Nagaland J. Alam said the biggest challenges for women begins from home and should be recognized as being a homemaker. Alam viewed that the inspiring and success stories of women should be shared not only in Nagaland but across the globe as the stories were about sacrifice and resilience. Without mentioning in particular, Alam said time was approaching for Naga women to achieve what they are aspiring for and said many social changes have been witnessed over the years. Dwelling on the theme, Alam said COVID-19 was the biggest challenge and even the government was at a loss on how to respond to the pandemic and had challenged the capacity of the state government. However, he said women had shown the leadership role during the pandemic issue, adding that the entire situation would not have been softened had the women not taken leadership roles. Alam congratulated the women folks involved in fighting against COVID-19 for quietly working to achieve the goals. Director General of Police Nagaland and host of other senior government officials, women tribal representatives and others attended the celebration. In Dimapur, International Women's Day was celebrated at DCP Zone 2 office near Deputy Commissioner's office. Commemorating International Women's Day, a health awareness camp was also organized. Addressing the gathering, Commissioner of Police Dimapur Rathi Tetsio stated that one should give importance on their health emphasizing that without proper health, a police personnel cannot carry out his or her policing duties well. Further speaking about the International Women's Day celebrated all over the world on March 8, Tatsio maintained that police personnel hardly get time to celebrate any auspicious day due to their police duties and maintaining law and order wherever they are placed. Because of the, our nature of duty, we don't even get time to celebrate. Jailed activist Akhil Gogoi will contest the upcoming elections in Assam from Sib Sagar as a candidate newly floated Rajoy Dal. Announcing the list of 17 candidates that the party fielded in the first two phases, Rajoy Dal working president Basco D. Saikya said that Gogoi, the party's president, will contest from the Sib Sagar constituency in Upper Assam. In the first phase, the party will contest in 12 seats but is yet to announce the candidate for one seat and in the second phase, it has put up candidates in six constituencies. We have decided to contest in only 17 seats with the intention of not dividing the votes so that the BJP is defeated and to ensure that there is an anti-CAA government in the state, Saikya said. Gogoi was booked under the stringent UAPA during the protest against the Citizenship Amendment Act in December 2019 and has been in judicial custody since then. The elections to the 126-member Assam Assembly will be held in three phases beginning on March 27. Reports have come in that a health official in Gujarat's Dehgam Taluka tested positive for COVID-19 after taking the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine, officials said. The health official was administered his first dose on January 16th and the second one on February 15th. However, soon after, he took a COVID-19 test after he complained of fever and his reports returned positive on February 20th, said Gandhinagar's Chief Health Officer Dr. M. H. Solanki. The chief health officer further said it generally takes around 45 days for antibodies to develop after both the doses of the vaccine are administered. This incident has raised questions on the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines that are currently being used across the country.